It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, back on the IE Network, and it's Nikki Day, Pink Friday. It is Pink Friday. This is the day that we give Nicki Minaj her flowers for the week. And we're going to do this every single week, all positivity, all the time, when they have their day. So, we're going to crank it off with some accolades, of course, and then I'm we're going to get into my question from last week, and then I have another. I got something real fun lined up for the barbs this week. Um, so, Nicki Minaj was announced. She uh, passed 1 billion streams on Spotify for 2022. So, there it is here. Shout out to the female rap room for that. Nicki Minaj has now surpassed 1 billion streams as a lead artist on Spotify. Now, a lot of people brought this to my attention. I definitely wanted to go over this. And she's going to eventually come out and say it herself. I spoke to Salt myself. Now, it says here, 56-year-old star believes Nicki Minaj has led the charge, quote, among female rappers over the last decade. Um, bet she, but she isn't a fan of the current trend. Now, a lot of people told, uh, brought this to me and said Salt was trying to blame Nicki Minaj for the over-sexuality. I spoke to Salt myself. All right? Um, that is not what she meant. And she is going to um, eventually make a statement if this continues to go. What people, a lot of Nicki fans is, is dragging her, saying Nicki wasn't the one who started the over-sexuality. But that's not what she meant. What she said was, Nikki led the charge. There was a lot of, of there was not female rap going on uh, for a long time. There was a long gap. Then Nikki led the charge, and she said, "But the current trend, women are too overly sexual," and she believes that it also has you know the more sexual you are, the uh, the further you go on the charts. So you know, stand down, Bob's. She did not mean that. I made a point to find that out. You know, Salt's an old buddy of mine, and we go way back. She said she did not mean that, and I'm sure she will make some sort of statement online if she hasn't done it already. Nicki Minaj is nominated for two awards at 2022 BT Awards. Those nominations, a whole lot of money, remix and best female hip-hop artist. That's the uh, category she's in against. Megan Thee Stallion, I believe. Doja Cat, Cardi B, Sweetie, and Lotto. So that's going to be something to see. Um, Whole Lot of Money remix. I, I don't uh, know what song is going up against. Nominated for the best collaboration. But she has a good chance of winning that. I don't know whether Sweetie and Doja Cat is, is in it again. I, I think that song should have been last year. So they probably don't have that in it. I got to take a look at some of the... Uh, collaboration, but she has a good chance of winning that. She may even be going up against herself, her little baby. And they, some wireless um, some wireless ads are out for her wireless fest coming up. You see the trucks out. Um, you know, saying Nicki Minaj is coming. You know, the, the wireless fest is when? In July. She's also, of course, lined up for the festival in New Orleans, the Essence Fest in New Orleans. That's supposed to be sold out. All right, so she's got a couple of great performances coming up that is going to be very, very interesting because I don't think she's performed since when? 2018 may have been her last performance. So, whew, look at that picture. Sheesh. <clears throat> so, um, going to be looking forward to seeing that. What else? Here, Here is the... Her most streamed songs of 2022, Tusa, still kicking it alive, <laughs> beating out Starships, Bang Bang, surprisingly to me, is third, Super Bass is fourth, Do We Have a Problem, Side to Side, Hey Mama, Beauty and the Beat, Where Them Girls At, I think 10 is bussing, if I'm not mistaken, there's her with the braids, um, that of you can go on Maxim if you haven't been on it already. I'm sure a lot of you probably have anyway. You go on that MaximBET.com and sign up, sign up for your account, and then just wait 
hold, you know, just hold down the fort for some news to come through. Um, I'm sure they're going to be throwing a big party soon, a big launch party. Be on the lookout for that. Um, from what I hear, within the next month or so, there's going to be a big launch party that Nikki will be hosting. Most streamed all-female collaborations in Spotify history. She's got three of them. Tusa, Side to Side, and Bang Bang, all with Nicki Minaj in it. So uh, we got a couple of questions that we want to do. Um, last month we asked if you had a choice to go back to one era, what era would it be? Um, I said, would it be, I said, out of Pink Friday and the Pink Print, right? I said, my choice was, was Pink Friday. Uh, there was a lot of people for the Pink Print. Then some people threw in Queen. You know, Pink Friday, would, would, uh, I believe, would be my choice. Right? So, um, but a lot of people said Queen. Um, let's see, let's go back to the Nikki Day. But we got something fun so just take a listen to this what we're going to be doing for next week just real quick want to read a lot of your responses for if you had a chance to have nikki revisit an old era for this era coming up would it be pink friday era or pink print all right so it's in happiness before we said pink friday jacob said the pink print um that's my cue, said blend them both together. Uh, Nyleen said the paint print era hit different. I was 14 and could definitely tell you that album was so appreciated. Ayab said the Queen era. Sam Hall said paint print. It felt like the most like Nikki. It was her most mature and thoughtful body of work, but that's something for everybody. The perfect mix of pop and hip hop, okay? And then Jacob, uh, uh, Chung Lee, the both of them in one get in one. Ivy League said pink print. Uh, let's see, about the Roman. Someone said Roman Reloaded. That was Dior. Ace Jamal said Pink Friday. Uh, let's see. So it's really just kind of split down the middle between Pink Friday and the Pink Print. I think I might see a little more of the Pink Print. I mean, so um, we'll see. Someone said it could be a combination of Pink Friday and yeah. So that's what mostly saying Pink Friday and the Pink Print. So now two questions. Number one. Nicki Minaj has one. She's going to do one more collaboration. One more. And it's going to be someone she's collaborated with before. She's got one. She's going to do one more. Is it going to be Doja Cat, Ariana Grande, or Beyonce? You have those are your three choices. Doja Cat. Ariana Grande and Beyonce. Put your comments below. Let me know who you would choose. And now here comes the fun part. So now I've always said that I would not want Nicki to do a, a versus against Lil Kim. L L Lil Kim has the most hits like, compared to Nicki. You know, um, she has the hits, but Lil Kim is just a little outdated. You know, her, her generation was like a little before Nick, so. If there was any female close enough to generation, it would probably be Missy. However, I always say that Nikki can really, to me, the only people she can really do a versus with is Drake. So Nikki is in a versus against Drake. I want you to give me, remember, versus is 20 songs. 20 songs. You don't know what, what, what the other person is going to play. I want y'all to design for me the 20 songs you're doing. Think about your opponent. Think about what Drake may come with. I want you to give me Nikki's 20 songs and, and in the order you're going to play them. <laughs> and we're going to go over this next Friday. The results of Nikki winning a versus against Drake. 
You're going to have to put her, give her best records at the time she's going to give them. All right? You're going to have to give the best records. Now, remember, she goes first. And we're going to say Nikki goes first. Let's say Nikki goes first. I'm going to design Drake's. <laughs> so y'all can tell me what's going to be your Nikki's. What is going to be the 20 records? What's going to be your 20 records for Nikki's versus against Drizzy Drake? Let me know in the comments. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood. Y'all celebrate your queen. Doing big things. She had a great week. So, um, y'all celebrate your queen, man. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for Lighting Network. Please enjoy the rest of your nights. God bless you and your family.